I also am a great believer in a good saw. I am categorically opposed to the use of hand axes by inexperienced people. These little hand axes about this long, chop, chop, chop. I have seen so many accidents over the years. Fingers, you know, you're splitting a piece of wood and you're holding it up, whack. Shins, toes, faces, get rid of axes. If you're an experienced hand axe person, you grew up with one and you can cut efficiently, okay, go for it. But for the average person, a saw is a much, much safer tool to use than an axe. And there are all kinds of saws. And, you know, people have seen little short ones and folding saws and saws that you have to assemble. And again, you've got to go back to that word simplicity. This is about as simple as it gets. This saw I've carried for about 40 some years, this very saw. No assembly required, but most importantly, you get a full extension of your arm. With these short saws, you, you end up doing this, and that, that's, it'll exhaust you. Also, get a saw that cuts in both directions. Otherwise, you know, one direction is going to be a waste of effort. You've got to do it to, to saw. But this saw actually removes wood when cutting in both directions, so it maximizes the energy that you're burning. Not only can you cut wood with this, but you can cut bone should that become necessary. You're butchering an animal, for example. And it's, the blade is long enough that you can cut snow blocks for snow block shelters. I've used it for that in my time in the Arctic. Nice, big, solid, firm grip. You can, with gloved hands, you can still, still use it. Small items. The general comment about survival kits components in general. Small items become a liability when your hands are cold, which they will become cold and they lose their dexterity, and that's going to happen. So cold, stiff fingers don't function very well with small pieces of equipment. Bigger, bigger is better.